Madam President, thank you. On the 30th of May 2022, the government of Trinidad and Tobago will join with all citizens of our beautiful twin island state in observance and celebration of the arrival of East Indian indentured laborers to our shores over 170 years ago. The existence and vitality of their rich culture, religions, language, and even cuisine is testament to the resilience of the ancestors of the present Indian diaspora, of which I stand here a proud member. Proud to be Hindu, proud to be East Indian, not ashamed of even the very sindur, the red marking which adorns my mang or middle part. Not ashamed of my forefather's name, that very name which I wear like a badge of honor even to this day. For all of this and more, Madam President, I recognize that I owe a debt of gratitude to my ancestors who were the protectors of my dharma, my rich heritage, culture, and tradition. Many of the values that we all inculcate in our daily lives and even the way we conduct ourselves as a government is in no short measure an underpinning of strong principles that would have passed from generation to generation, even transcending culture, race, and religion. For that very fact, Madam President, Trinidad and Tobago is and will continue to be a nation filled with almost every creed and race, yet we exist in harmony as a unified Trinbago people. It is because of this unification and collective fortitude that the government and the citizens which we represent are able to withstand and even overcome the many challenges that the global COVID pandemic has brought to us. As a government, we expect challenges and even embrace them because we know our nation and its people come from a long and vibrant history of fortitude and determination that has equipped us with the necessary tools to overcome all that we face. So as we take time to pay homage to our early East Indian pioneers and enjoy in the many contributions they have made to our modern society, I wish to reflect on the contribution of all ancestral immigrants and people, each facing similar adversity and tremendous hardship, yet able to withstand and preserve their culture. And so, I wish to extend the government's gratitude and appreciation to our East Indian ancestors for your sacrifices, courage, social, economic, and political contribution to our nation. In closing, I now turn the, to the children of the indentured. My brothers and sisters, remember that while we stand as proud East Indians, we are Trinbagonians first. So let us use this diversity to build, not destroy, to unite, not divide our nation, as there is absolute strength and beauty in this diversity. Madam President, may God bless our nation. I thank you.